Well, let's get up and running with Orient DB. We'll go through some very simple installation processes. We'll go through a Windows installation, uh, Mac OS X. We'll use a command line approach on Mac OS X, but very similar to Linux. And one thing to note is that on all platforms, Orient DB does require Java, which is generally a very easy installation, but it is a requirement. So what's involved in installing Orient DB? It's three steps. Download the file, unzip it, and run. It's that simple. So you'll download a tar file, a zip file, or some other archive, extract it, and run with no problem. As I mentioned, you need a JVM installed to run the server. So let's take a look at Mac OS X. I happen to have Yosemite. So when we're on a Mac, it's easy to install OrientDB as well. Again, we have to get Java up and running and installed, which I've done. When you download here, you download a disk image, and it's a pretty easy installation as well. I've gone to the OrientDB download page and downloaded the Mac distribution, which gives us our zipped file. We just double click to go ahead and expand that. When I open up the OrientDB folder, you can see I have a bin directory. We'll double click into there. Server.sh we can open with, and I'll choose another application. Choose all applications, and we'll just go to utilities, and then to terminal. And that will go ahead and launch that file for us. And you can see we get asked to generate the password for the root user. So I'll put hello. So that's all done, and OrientDB is up and running. I can go to localhost port 2480. And you'll see that Studio's up and running, and our root credentials will connect us to the Grateful Dead Concerts database. Quite commonly in a Mac, uh, people use Terminal to work with things. So we can quit the server here, and from a new tab we can change directory into the desktop. And we'll navigate to the OrientDB folder that was just created. And then we'll go to the bin directory. And the... If we look at the directory, all the directories you would expect, so dot slash server dot sh gets OrientDB up and running. So this is a very common tool to have open while you're working with OrientDB because you may also work with console or other tools as well. Here's a demo of Windows. I was using Windows 7. So let's install OrientDB on a Windows machine. You can hear my very loud fanned Windows laptop running. We need to install Java on Windows in order to get OrientDB working properly. I had my best luck going to this download page and choosing the offline installer of Java. It downloaded this installer and was quite easy to go through. Next I went to the OrientDB download page and downloaded the version 2.0 pre-release version and I chose the Microsoft Windows version. And it downloads a zip like this. We can just right click and extract all. We'll let that run through. So we've got our folder here uh, inside of the Orient DB. I'm just going to rename this folder to Orient DB to be a little easier to access in the command line. And then we won't have a naming conflict. I'll drag it out to the desktop. So I have our Orient DB folder on the desktop. And that has the directory you would expect with the bin directory to start the server. So we'll go ahead in the command prompt and go to that directory, cd desktop slash orientdb slash bin and on Windows it's server.bat. So orientdb server starts up and with our first run we'll get asked for a root password. So let's put hello and OrientDB's up and running. We can verify that by going to localhost 2480 and there we are with Studio and we can log into the Grateful Dead concerts using our root credentials. For those of you who prefer the command line, here's an example on a Mac from the terminal. So let's do this strictly from the terminal. You'll need to get access to a download URL. So I'll just copy the address to my clipboard. 
Uh, obviously, this is going to be very similar to Linux and Unix systems, but I'll go ahead and do it in here. You could use wget, but I'm going to use curl, anything to get a file down to your file system. So we'll curl and save it to the desktop, and we'll name it orientdb.tar.gz. And this will download the file. We'll fast forward here. So we'll look at the directory. Sorry, I need to go to the desktop. And you can see we have our file downloaded. Now we'll expand that file, tar xvzf orientdb tar.gz. And we can change directory into our newly created folder. And we'll go to the bin directory, dot slash server, dot sh, and orientdb will be up and running, asking us for our root password during the first installation. We'll provide that, and we can go to the browser, to localhost 2480, and we'll see that Studio is up and running, and we can log in with our provided root credentials. As you'll see throughout the course, there's a bundled database called Grateful Dead Concerts, and there's also some example databases in the cloud. When you go to Studio, there's an easy mechanism to download those and get to work right away.